Hi, I'm Penny Avril and I lead product for Google Cloud's database business. Especially now, many of us are no stranger to unpredictability. You may be struggling to keep the lights on or being pushed in new ways to best serve your customers. Let's take the New York Department of Labor, for example. In barely three months, they've seen three years' worth of claims come in. And their website, which usually sees 350,000 sign-ons in a week, saw 6 million sign-ons. They needed to not only be able to react quickly to this surge from their customers, but also provide a better experience, especially given how critical their services are. Working with Google Cloud, they are now able to scale and support their customers in a way their mainframe wouldn't have been able to handle. Leveraging Cloud Firestore enabled them to handle over 100,000 sign-ons in just the first 24 hours and provide more familiar communications to their customers throughout their experience. The ability to tackle the unpredictable is critical to your success. As the volume, variety, and velocity of data grows, managing your data reliably and securely at scale is key. At its core, Google is a data company, and much of the innovation you experience is built out of our need to solve some of the most difficult challenges in managing vast volumes of data. Planetary scale with consistency, reliability and redundancy at reasonable costs, and a speedy user experience no matter where your users are in the world. Today, we will take you through that journey, from easily moving your databases to the cloud, to modernizing applications to handle the unexpected, and to providing simplicity for your developers, all while sharing new developments along the way. For most of you, this journey begins with how you can free your teams from self-managing thousands of on-prem applications and traditional databases and unlock the speed to build and launch quickly. A good place to start is with infrastructure that supports specialized workloads like Oracle databases. We offer a bare metal solution which helps you quickly and cost-effectively move these workloads to within milliseconds latency of Google Cloud. This bare metal solution is built on Oracle certified platform to meet the performance, availability, and trust needed for the most mission critical applications. For other proprietary databases, Cloud SQL for SQL Server offers familiarity and compatibility. Released to general availability early this year and with a quickly growing customer base, the service supports multiple editions of SQL Server and works with popular clients such as SQL Server Management Studio and PowerShell. This fully managed service leverages Cloud SQL's capabilities to provide scalability, performance, and high availability built in. But for your journey to the cloud, this is often only the first step in your transformation. Your use cases and your database environment will continue to evolve which is why I'm excited to announce we have launched committed use discounts, which provide financial governments without manual overhead. Committed use discounts are transferable across SQL Server, MySQL, Postgres, and machine sizes, so you can maximize your utilization even as your resourcing needs change. These releases make migrations and compatibility easier for common databases like Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, and Postgres. But when you're building for the unexpected, Google Cloud native databases offer unique benefits, such as industry-leading 5.9's SLA, online scale, and global replication without any operational complexity. So to modernize your relational workloads, we develop Cloud Spanner, which offers a unique pairing of a relational database with non-relational availability and scale. And we have continued to extend the reach of Spanner. In the last year, we made our industry-leading Spanner SLA of five nines available to all Spanner multi-region instances, even those starting at one node. We also introduced a plethora of features for Spanner this year, including adding additional multi-region configs and user-managed backup and recovery. Developer productivity was improved with JDBC driver and Hibernate ORM support, additional introspection capabilities, and now a local emulator. 
We continue to enhance our SQL feature set with foreign keys, with clause support, and query optimizer versioning. Spanner's combination of relational semantics and horizontal scale was elusive for so long that many assumed it was unreachable for application development. But it solved some of the most critical challenges for our customers. This week, you will hear from Uber on their use of Spanner for dealing with their unpredictable marketplace demands. We also saw Spanner shine at ShareChat, one of the largest social media platforms in India. ShareChat supports over 140 million monthly active users. And while scale is paramount, they needed to increase their team's operational efficiency and ability to develop new applications quickly. Let's hear from Venkatesh Ramaswamy, Vice President of Engineering at ShareChat, about why they ultimately re-architected on Spanner and Google Cloud. Hi, Venkatesh. Thanks for joining us at Next On Air. We know migrating and architecting can be a major undertaking. Can you share your motivation to take this on? Firstly, thank you for the wonderful introduction, Penny. Uh, it's great to be here. Our primary reason to move out of AWS was because we encountered various limitations of scale with DynamoDB that required us to fundamentally rethink our existing table and schema definitions. So when we looked at the effort for this re-architecture, it was huge in terms of developer time. The other big reason was cost, which was becoming untenable given our scale. So we wanted a solution that would support us while we continue to grow and tackle as yet unknown use cases. We also wanted to partner with a technology first company and not a sales driven one. So we went through a very thorough evaluation process internally and then decided to migrate off DynamoDB, leveraging both Spanner and Bigtable. That's great to hear. Um, how has your experience been with Google Cloud during this transition? Google Cloud you know, has been a great partner for us due to their breadth of experience with technology, their cost sustainability, and, and just the technical support. We were already running our machine learning and AI workloads on Google Cloud to begin with, and that gave us the confidence to look at Spanner and Bigtable to support the rest of our data infrastructure. It was clear even early on that the entire process was approached more as a partnership, and that gave us the immediate trust that they would listen and understand what we need. The uh, PSO team felt like an extension of our own, and we had a great working relationship. In fact, um, we were in touch with the Spanner team directly, so we were very confident that we had the right kind of support structure in place for us to succeed as a business. Now, as we progressed with our migration, we made a conscious decision to tackle the migration first and then focus on the optimizations. During this time, the, the folks at Google Cloud worked with us to ensure that we had the right cost flexibility and that it wasn't a concern to begin with. Now that we are fully migrated over, we have been seeing some amazing savings. Congratulations on completing that migration. Could you share a sense of the scale of that migration and what sort of results you have seen? The entire process you know, took about six months of time and we had more than 80 terabytes of data to move over that included about 200 plus tables. Now, post-migration, our overall costs have reduced by almost 30 to 40 percent, and that is just in the first few months, and we are just getting started here. Recently, we have had our traffic grow to almost 500 percent over the span of just a few days, and we scaled it horizontally, you know, with zero lines of code change. We also launched um, a short video app called Moch uh, in a week's time, and we were able to move it to another region in an extremely seamless manner. Now, in the midst of all this, Spanner handled all that extra load that was thrown at it, and the Google team was right alongside us for the ride. The fact that we were able to do it without needing any help is a testament to the robustness of the Google system. You know, I don't think there's a better compliment than that, Penny. Thank you, Venkatesh, for joining us today and for sharing why ShareChat chose Google Cloud. Thanks, Penny. Wonderful to be here again. It's wonderful to hear how ShareChat is handled in their growing scale at 30% less cost, while making it faster for their team to tackle new strategic use cases. With Spanner, we were the first to architect a relational system that brought together massive scale, strong consistency, five nines of availability, and the ease of just being able to build. And we saw there continue to be a gap in the non-relational world. These developers not only wanted ease to build, yet with scale insurance and the reliability from the relational world. For mobile and web developers looking for a document database, 
Cloud Firestore became generally available just over 18 months ago. To date, over 2 million Firestore databases have been created. A recent study from Slash Data found that Firestore had the most satisfied developers compared to any other cloud on the database market. So why do these developers love Firestore? The Firebase integration, serverless architecture and free tier are appealing. However, if we look under the covers, we have uniquely offered a globally consistent NoSQL document database with Five Nines availability by building Firestore on an optimally tuned deployment of Spanner infrastructure. The end result? Firestore developers can quickly build reliable real-time applications at scale. In addition, for Firestore, today I'm pleased to announce we are introducing tools to give you better visibility into usage and performance with Key Visualizer. Additionally, we've invested in a richer query language and added a new SDK for game developers for even easier application development. Continuing in the non-relational world, we are expanding the enterprise capabilities of Cloud Bigtable while also making it easier to get started in production. I'm happy to announce that managed backups are now generally available for Bigtable. This provides protection against operator error and application corruption scenarios without the management overhead, so you can stay up and running no matter what happens. We've also added table-level identity management, audit logs for admin activity, and expanded our support and SLA for single node production instances, so you can get started at any scale. We believe this focus on developing, not operating, needs to extend to all of your most common databases, including MySQL and Postgres. Now we are elevating the easy to use Cloud SQL to better meet the needs of the enterprise. In addition to the financial control of committed use discounts, in the last year, Cloud SQL added support for core security controls, more control over maintenance, and introduced cross-region replicas. The popularity of Cloud SQL can be seen this week from the talk by McKesson. And over the past year, we've seen Cloud SQL's popularity continue to grow. It is now one of Google Cloud's fastest growing top services. What excites me about this momentum is that it's not happening in isolation. The deep integrations across the entirety of Google Cloud's offerings make your next generation architectures truly powerful. These native integrations ensure you always get the best of Google Cloud, no matter what you're developing. We've seen GKE users deploying more than 500,000 proxy instances to securely connect to Cloud SQL. And BigQuery users querying 22 petabytes of data in Cloud SQL in just one month, bridging the gap between analytic and operational data. We continue to advance our databases to meet your needs, no matter where you are on your journey, whether you're just getting started designing for the unpredictable, or enabling your teams to build faster than ever. This week, you'll not only be able to hear from ShareChat, Colopala, Khan Academy, McKesson, New York Times, and Uber, but also from our product experts on every Google Cloud database service. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the week.